Are you wanting to edit your Zoom video recordings that are either saved on your hard drive or in the Zoom cloud? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you five different ways to edit, trim, cut, and remove parts of your Zoom recording so that you can spruce them up a little bit. You know, live conference calls and video chats can be kind of awkward to re-watch after the fact. So if you want to trim the beginning out of a video completely or the end or remove an entire section or even just split a Zoom video into multiple shorter videos, then this is the video that you're looking for. So let's dive right into this here. You might think that you need to actually have some fancy fancy video editing software on your computer to make this happen. And you can use video editing software, but there are some browser based options that I'm going to show you as well. But the first thing that you're going to need to do is locate your zoom recording. So if it's recorded directly on your hard drive, you're going to have to actually find it. I usually save mine to my desktop so it's easy to find. And if you save your zoom recording to the cloud, you'll have to log into your zoom account in your browser, navigate to your recordings and then download it. Secondly, you'll need a software program to actually edit that video file. If you're on a Mac, iMovie is hands down the best go-to video editor out there. You probably already have it installed and all you have to do is open it up, import your Zoom recorded file, and it should be an MP4 file, and then add that clip to your timeline there along the bottom. And here is where you can trim the ends or split the clip to create multiple sections or simply delete the section that you want to remove. When you're done, just export the file using the button in the top right-hand side of your window. And if you have trouble with the exporting process, I actually have an entire video walking you through the proper right way to export your video so that you can then upload it to YouTube or social media, whatever you want to do with it. So I'll link to that down in the description. If you are a Windows user, then give Filmora a try. It's not free, but it is great for beginners and it's affordable as far as decent video editors go. So Filmora is also available for a Mac and it works a lot like iMovie, how I just showed you. You simply import your clip, drag it down to the timeline, trim the ends or split it into sections and then export it as a video file. Now, if you're on an iPad or an iPhone and you want to edit your videos there, uh, look at LumaFusion or Adobe Premiere Rush. It's going to be a little bit trickier on a mobile device, especially if you have a long Zoom recording because you're gonna run into some storage issues. So if you can, try to do it on a laptop or a desktop computer. And it is possible to edit your videos without any actual video editing software at all. For example, YouTube has a YouTube editor. So for this, you'd need to upload the video to your YouTube account. Don't worry, you don't have to make it public. Just make sure you save it as a private video. And then within YouTube Studio, choose the video that you just downloaded. And on the left-hand menu, choose editor and you can make the same trims and cuts there and then save it. You'll have to download it once it's done processing if you want to upload it somewhere else after the fact. And I actually have a whole YouTube video explaining the exact process beginning to end step by step how to edit videos using the YouTube editor. And again, I will link to that down in the description below as well. Some other web-based options are quite a bit more limited in what they can do, but look at Kapwing, which has a seven minute limit on their free plan and a 40 minute limit on their paid plan or Animoto, which claims unlimited downloads. Both of those web-based editors are linked down in the description below. You know, editing your Zoom recordings is a great way to make them more enjoyable to watch after they're no longer live anymore, especially if you're going to be sharing them with colleagues or uploading them to an online learning platform or even just to your YouTube channel. Now, if you are creating videos to grow your audience and income online, I want you to grab my social video blue print where you can get the latest specs and dimensions and layout ideas so that you can improve your videos as you move forward and create more content and pop that subscribe button while you're here so that you can get more videos just like this one in the future and I queued up another video here that I think you will enjoy as well.